also causing surprise are Darwin's very own finches. New research has discovered that changes due to natural selection are actually happening in the space of a year or so. The finches in the Galapagos, they change rapidly, but they, the species doesn't change. Um, it is the morphology that changes rapidly. So first of all, they thought it, these were different species, but actually it is the same species. Biologists still have a problem with this. You know, there's still, you know, the gradualism is, is still an important part of biology. And, and you know, the demonstration that, that finch evolution could occur very rapidly is, was, was, was shocking in itself when, when that occurred. The phenotype of uh, the Darwin uh, finches is cyclic. Uh, it, it, it stays within a certain boundaries. Uh, so some years you have finches with big uh, beaks, depending on the food environments, and the other years you have the same species of finches with thin beaks. Darwin's theory requires progress by small changes that build on each other over vast amounts of time. Instead, researchers see beaks getting large, then small, then large again. It's a rapid cycle from one generation to the next, as the climate affects the food supply. Darwin couldn't see this cycle. He was there for only five weeks in the latter part of 1835. But does this change due to natural selection equal evolution as Darwin imagined it?